Conchetta Antico got her first set of oil paints at the age of seven. Art has been her life ever since. I painted album covers in my teens on the walls of my room. Uh, I was immersed in the garden all the time, making little brews of flowers and, and, and soil and, and really, uh, you know, seeing all the color in all of this. She grew up in Australia, but now calls San Diego home. You gotta look through this really strong part. Here at her studio in Mission Hills, she teaches oil painting, and she works on her own canvases, all of them popping with color, color that sometimes seems out of place. She paints Balboa Park with accents of purple, the night sky with glimmers of orange. Antico says she's using these colors faithfully. To her, they actually appear out there in the world. I am trying to portray what I see. Over there, there's a painting of a duck. It's surrounded by thin green lines. Those colors were truly there in that bird. And they were strong for me. A few years ago, students and collectors drawn to her unique style started forwarding her articles about a condition she'd never heard of. It had something to do with genetics and the possibility of humans possessing enhanced color vision. But she didn't think much of it, until she read one thing that floored her. I was staring, I read it like five times. Apparently, women who have children with color deficiencies could potentially carry the genes for this strange condition. And recently, her daughter had been struggling to see certain colored markers on the whiteboard at school. And I thought, my goodness, maybe I am. So I quickly got a pen and paper and I jotted down the names of the doctors who were cited in this article. She contacted them, and before long, she was spitting into a tube and shipping her DNA off to a university in Washington State. Tests were run, results came back. She had the genes for something called tetrachromacy. This is something that is a fairly new uh, finding for me and has changed my life significantly. Let's break down that word, tetrachromacy. Tetra means four, chroma means color, and we probably all learned in high school that humans are trichromatic. Our retinas have just three color receptors. But in the past few decades, scientists have been exploring the possibility that some people may have four. How does that happen? Well, first you have to be a woman. Color receptors are coded by genes on the X chromosome. Women have two of those, so that means they could have two slightly different genes on each X chromosome, independently producing different receptors. That discrepancy could potentially add a fourth receptor on top of the normal three. Because she has a normal form on one X chromosome and this variant on the second X chromosome. Kimberly Jameson is a researcher at UC Irvine who's been studying Antico's color vision. And this is how she uh, she ends up being a potential tetrachromat. This all might sound pretty crazy, but look beyond humans, and it's not at all uncommon for birds and insects and fish to have more than three color receptors. And we know that some animals, like dogs, have fewer receptors. The question now facing Jameson and other researchers is, could this fourth receptor actually be functional? Does it really make the world more colorful for these women? Jameson has been putting Antico through a battery of tests to try and answer that very question. It's harder than it sounds. Not only do the diagnostics not exist, any types of tools that we might use, like computer monitors or any kind of display device, they're all based on models that have just three display primaries. Even tests that should, in theory, separate tetrachromats from people with normal vision have not yet delivered definitive results. Then there's the question of how special Antico's genes really are. More than half of all women could be walking around with some form of genetic predisposition for tetrachromacy, but their vision could still be totally normal. Jenny Boston is another tetrachromacy researcher, currently a visiting scholar at UC San Diego. Although quite a lot of women have the genetic potential for tetrachromacy, we don't yet have conclusive evidence for anyone um, that tetrachromacy exists. So what about Antico? She certainly believes she's seeing colors invisible to most of us, just listen to her describe what she sees in a dark shadow. I see purples and blues and reflected colors from other things. And so it's like a, uh, it is dark, yes, and it is gray, yes, but it is riddled with subtle pieces of color. But what does this mean? Could it mean that through years of dedicated art practice, she's simply trained herself to be more sensitive to color? Or is it that her biology really is playing some role in tandem with her training, nature and nurture working together to alter her color perception? So far, no one knows for sure. 
After our interview, Jameson gave Antico yet another test. She had to take these little tiles progressing from pink to green and line them up in an orderly spectrum. Some of the tiles looked incredibly similar. When Antico finished, Jameson checked her results. You're perfect. Again. Antico nailed it. Zero mistakes. David Wagner, KPBS News.